So what's the difference when you replace a 5-blade EDF with a 12-blade? In this video, we'll do just that, and you'll see. As I mentioned in my 2019 Dynam Meteor assembly video, I got a request to try out a new Dynam 12-blade EDF unit in a Dynam Meteor Sport Jet. The stock unit is a 5-blade 70mm fan with a Detrim BM2806D 3000 kV motor. The new test unit is a 70mm 12-blade fan with a Tomcat TC2827 2600 kV motor, which means the new setup has a bit less RPM per volt, but has a 21 millimeter longer motor. Comparing the two, the extra length is obvious. The stock fan comes with a 60 amp ESC, while the 12 blade unit recommends an 80 amp ESC. I was given a Skylord 80 amp ESC for the test, but found that its larger size meant some significant foam removal to get it to fit where the 60 amp unit was placed. Since that removal would likely weaken the top of the fuselage at the mounting point and that the Dynam folks expressed some concern regarding the possibility of fuselage strengthening, I decided to install the new fan with the 60 amp ESC that came stock and check the installed amp draw before any major surgery. As you'll see in the test figures, the fan drew amps in the high 50s and with an 80 amp surge reserve in the ESC, I decided to go with that. Since I planned to fly the airplane stock, I figured a few test flights with the higher power system would be okay. Before we go into the test results, let's take a minute to look at the test process. First, these really aren't exact scientific tests. The purpose is just to point out some basic differences for you to draw some conclusions. The first tests are simply a comparison of the electrical use as measured on a typical RC watt meter. We'll look mainly at the amps and the watts and a glance at the voltage to help with the comparisons. Next, I'll use a little fishing scale and measure the pull produced by each setup. Again, this is by no means a scientific test, but you'll be able to see the difference. Last, and just for fun, I'll throw a little handheld anemometer into the exhaust and see what kind of velocity differences we'll see. To finish things off, we'll take the Meteor out to the field and do a couple of flybys, since many folks change out the fans due mainly to the more whoosh of the 12 blade fan compared to the five blades more shrill whine. So let's go. In the amps and watt test, we'll be using a newly charged four cell battery that shows a voltage under load of 14 volts with 50.39 amps and 720 watts with the five blade stock unit. The same test with the 12 blade fan unit showed a 56.6 amps, 810 watts with a slightly less 13.77 volts under load. In the thrust test, I used a small fishing scale and got 28.5 ounces of thrust with the stock unit. I got 34.5 ounces of thrust with the 12 blade unit. Using the anemometer to measure wind speed, 
out of the back of the Meteor. I got about 76 miles an hour with the stock system and greater than 100 miles an hour from the 12 blade system. That represents improvements in the watts, amps, and thrust categories of about 10, 12, and 20% respectively with the 12 blade fan versus the stock fan. So with the static test done, let's take it out to the field and see how it flies. Oh yeah. <laughs> The field test provided a couple of things to consider. As you heard in the flybys, the 12 blade fan is much more quiet in the air. It has a bit more of that whoosh sound, but mainly it doesn't have the whine of the typical 5 blade fan, regardless of brand. Overall performance wasn't all that much different. Despite pulling more amps and generating more watts, the overall aircraft performance seemed pretty similar. That too isn't surprising as many have reported that the primary difference between 5 blade and 12 blade fan units is the lack of the whine of the 5 blade unit. This Dynam unit is no exception. The good news is, is that the jet continues to be pretty fast for an EDF in this category. Here are a couple of more closing comments. The 12 blade fan option for the Meteor is certainly something to consider. For under $80, including an 80 amp ESC, it would be a nice upgrade for someone with the need for speed. With that in mind, however, be prepared to do some foam removal and some fuselage strengthening to compensate for the increased performance. Some carbon fiber strips mounted as longerons spanning where the nose section meets the rear fuselage would be a good place to start. I'm not sure I'd keep the 60 amp ESC with the 12 blade fan. I prefer to have a bit more headroom between full power amps and the ESC's rated amps. Regardless of the power system, the Dynam Meteor is a fun snappy sport jet that is sure to please. If you found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to the RC Plain Views channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.